Panthers fans have travelled in good numbers as always. Stingrays on block starting to fill up as well. There's quite a few fans watching from the bar tonight. And we're getting ready for an exciting game, an interconference game. It's the Stingrays and the Panthers on a Sunday night here in Hull. Lozon's trying to free himself up. Another kick at the puck and missed. The Panthers bring it into the zone right away. And the Stingrays respond by playing it straight back out. Frederick knocked down that pass, trying to go from D to D. And the recovery was made by Barubi to knock the pass down after initially giving the puck away. Stingrays did not play yesterday. And they had a Saturday off. Although they are back in action on Wednesday. They have to travel up to Brayhead. And I know we do have some Brayhead fans tuning in tonight to watch this game. Keeping a close eye on the Panthers. As Maya shot brings the first save from Modig. Stingrays trying to cycle the puck in the corner. Maya is onto it. And he's been dispossessed. And Lawrence trying to battle his way through. Forward to Jacina. On for Lawrence to chase. Uh, a little too far ahead of him. It brings an icing whistle. And deflects harmlessly away. And now the Panthers will come in. It's three on two. And the open man is Mosey. And the save is made underneath Brown. Puck is live. And Benedict tried to slam it in. And Brown recovered just in time. Now Schmidt. Goes for the shot. Blocked by Osman. And he'll play it out of the zone. The Panthers turn that three on two into an opportunity for Evan Mosey. Puck will now come up the near side boards. Farmer didn't keep it in the zone. Havato's pinched it. Cohen's back on cover. Havato plays the pass to Knox. And the save is made off the stick of Modig. Couple of opportunities, half chances that the Stingrays have had now on this short handed shift. And that was probably even better than a half chance. Havato and Knox with the link up play. Cohen was the only man back. He couldn't break it up, and they were grateful to Modig with a stick stop. And that pass gets past Schmidt, and he's got to be careful here because Avato wants to get past him again. Avato's got no support. The Stingrays have gone for a line change. And Lawrence has been able to dispossess Zach Avato. Here's Jacina. Opened the scoring on the power play last night. Sent towards goal, deflected, and drops at the side of the net but not in a position where Jacina could do anything with it. Pressure is still applied, the Stingrays can't get it clear, they've played it into their own man, and Farmer's trying to profit. Mosey with the slap shot, blocked by Knox, and Knox has got speed, but Mosey just cuts him off with good. A little shoulder in across the body. Jordan Knox has terrific breakaway speed. And Mosey played that situation well in the end. Do anything with it. Now the Stingrays can break, look at this. Galbraith moving in, shooting into the body. Pass option was taken away, so he tried to lift it short side. Modig made the body save. Lakovic off the bench and he's clean through. Robert Lakovic, oh and he can't pull the move, but he has drawn the penalty. And it's going to be a penalty shot as he was pulled back by Turcotte. Robert Lakovic came off the bench and the Stingrays didn't spot him in time and the man who's turned 25 today has the opportunity to put the Panthers in front Panthers caught the Steelers out last night with a break while they were on the power play that led to Jacina's opening goal and they also had a penalty shot which they weren't able to convert in the game, that was Boxhill. But this is Robert Lakovic against David Brown. Lakovic shot is saved by Brown. And we are still tied. Let's take another look at it. There wasn't an awful lot to it. Just trying to beat him with the accuracy of the snapshot. Not really much attempt to deke. So Lakovic misses the penalty shot. The Panthers still on the power play for another 40 seconds. 
Cohen. Higgins. Right across the one-time shot and the save is made. Lakovic denied by Brown again. Pasha goes down, no penalty. What a chance for Higgins. What a save by Brown and the Stingrays have scrambled it off the line. They're desperate to cover it up and they've done so. And now Havato's getting involved and Higgins is piling in. And the Stingrays have survived an almighty scramble. Living on the edge. And this game is on edge at the moment as well. It's threatening to boil over. Well, oh, this penalty has been called on both Doucette and Havato here. Long shot tipped in. The Stingrays have the opener. It's the blast from Federick. And the opening goal is a Stingrays goal. Straight from the face-off. And Frederick, who plays the point, just climbs into it. Seemed to hit something on the way through. Not sure if it was the screen or if it went in off Modig. But it'll be a five on four power play goal. Perrant has beaten the icing and the Panthers are in. Opportunity, Higgins, there's the equaliser. Just like that, out of the corner and into the goal for Chris Higgins. The Stingrays have had trouble holding on to leads all season. This one has barely lasted 30 seconds. Perrant out of the corner and Higgins took up position and drilled it in. Long shot comes through, Modig makes the save. The Stingrays can't profit from the rebound that came out. The Panthers clear the zone and that does it for the first period, a 1-1 period. We've seen plenty of action, we've seen a missed penalty shot at the midway point of the period from Robert Lakovic. You see the Panthers hit the post on a couple of occasions, the best of which was a half-open goal for Greg Jacina. But then the Stingrays took the lead at 14.57 through Dominic Osman, tipping in Will Frederick's power play slap shot. But the Panthers answered right back. Brandt won the puck in the corner, gave it to Doucette, and he fed Higgins all alone for the equaliser at 15.25. That game's late in the first. We're ready for the start of the second period. The Panthers win the draw. They're shorthanded for the first few seconds. And pretty soon Farmer will be back out and we will skate five on five. Nice hands from Jacina through neutral ice. Trying to work it all the way through. He's made it and he's shot off the pads once and then twice. Stingrays can't get it clear at the moment. Havato steps in to take it away from Farmer. And now Lozon. Tanak is the option inside him. Lozon shoots, takes a deflection and comes through to Modig. Who will freeze. Another good face-off win for Perrant. Very strong part of his game. Cohen to Perrant, tries to wrap it in. And the stick was down from David Brown. Now here's Frederick. Tries to get it across to Galbraith. He comes all the way through to Lozon. And I cannot believe that Modic has got across to save that. That's fantastic. He came all the way through the crowd. And Matthias Modig has pulled off one of the saves of the season for my money. That was superb. So let's take a look again. It's Frederick who makes it happen. Galbraith drives to the net and Lozon is there. And it's swiped away by the stick, I believe, of Modig. We'll see if we can take another look at it again. We'll slow it down for you. Across to Lozon. And I think it has come off the paddle. Fantastic. Boxhill will move it across to the far side and Lakovic. And it goes towards the goal. Cohen trails. The shot is on goal. It's saved by Brown. The puck is still loose in front. 
needs to be cleared away and the whistle is gone and I think there's a penalty coming in here against the whole sting race for slashing it's Havato the guilty man he's not happy about it and an effort to clear that puck away after the shot came back off David Brown Havato is called for slashing Lawrence speed as he takes it around the back of the net back with Schmidt Benedict's the option on the near side back with Lawrence Jacina in towards Farmer it's another slick passing move from the Panthers and they lead for the first time tonight with a Robert Farmer power play goal It looks so simple, doesn't it? Give and go, and the movement off the puck. And Farmer, who is just hanging back, steps into the play, and it's the finish beyond Brown. Oh, Stingrays have turned it over. Galbraith will rip it. Get in! What a shot! Big Eric with an even bigger slap shot. The giveaway from the Panthers and no betting from Eric Galbraith. Wow. Wrong club, but whoosh, it's behind you. No thought of moving it any closer. Shooting the first chance he gets. Lozon. Here's Tanaka, backhand shot. And it just goes wide. Tanaka's in the goal. And play has to be stopped. As the puck was sent back towards the net. Take another look at that. Singray has just managed to turn it into a three on two with Tanaka on the near side. And he tried the backhand shot. And Modi came up big. Lawrence finishes his check. And the puck will come back to Pasha. Tries to send it towards Tanaka. Side of the goal. What a stop by Modi to deny Lozon. That was a super pass. From Tanaka to Lozon, and Modig has made his second fantastic save of the period. Tanaka has kicked this one forward, Havato trails the play, they switch sides, shot goes wide. Schmidt on top of Havato, who feeds it right across, side of the goal, Lozon, oh it's been kicked off the line, Colby Cohen got back and he's kicked it off the line. Modig was beaten, but Colby Cohen wasn't. Take a look at it again. Havato plays the pass right across. The Stingrays wait and wait, and Lozon's shot is kicked away. Great awareness from Cohen. And again, Modig so quick side to side that the one timer wasn't on. Fed back to the slot for Lozon. And Cohen kicks it off the line. Shot goes along the ice and wide of David Brown. Galbraith and Landry together on the boards. Great touch from Frederick has got Lozon in on goal. Lozon backhand and through the legs. And the Stingrays retake the lead. Frederick's touch off the boards made it and sent Carl Lozon clean through. And the Stingrays have a three goals to two lead. It was a 2 on 0 with Galbraith. The backhand finish went underneath Modig.
Might be even better than a one goal lead as Tanaka comes forward. Oh, and he tried to shoot short side. And Cohen and Avato have collided with the post. It's not quite enough accuracy on the shot from Corey Tanaka. You can see what he was trying to do. A little slop above the right shoulder. And it's just off the arm of Modig. Still time for a chance to be created in the closing stages of the second period. Jameson trying to make sure there's no pressure on David Brown's goal. And one good pass should ensure that there isn't. The Stingrays play a mistake-free hockey on that final shift and maintain their lead into the second intermission. And we'll see how things go in this third period. A referee Mike Hicks in the middle of it. Linesman Paul Staniforth and Phil Sewell. Even strength at the start of the third period. What a big third period this could be in the season of these two teams. Perron can't get past Lozon. Stingrays have their first possession of the period. Pucks deflected up and in fact it's gone back into the zone. I thought it got onto the Stingrays bench for a moment, but offside is the call from the linesman and down below. I feel they also need to stay disciplined, the Stingrays. They're giving up fewer power plays than any team in the league, fewer penalty minutes. If they can keep this game five on four, sorry, five on five or five on four in their favour. I certainly feel as though they've got a much better chance. And if they're spending a lot of time in the penalty box, remember the Stingrays are short-handed. No Matty Davis, who's watching up on the gantry, not far away from where I'm stood. The Stingrays just rotating eight forwards and five defencemen. Here's Higgins stepping inside. The shot is saved by Brown and he locates the puck and covers up. Stingrays certainly not going to get any sympathy from the Nottingham Panthers when it comes to woes about injuries this season. Jameson's going to carry it all the way back and then lose out. Oh, and stumbling was Boxhill and he lets out a yelp of frustration. If you did hear his yelp of frustration, we apologize. That came across on the microphone, but if he'd taken that in, he might have been able to skate on goal as Lozon shoots off the outside of the goal. Maya. There's Lozon. Looking for the tip from Osman and didn't get it. Again, he's positioned at the top of the crease. Jameson. Oh, that got a deflection. It comes back to Maya, whose backhand shot goes in. made it a 4-2 Stingrays lead and it's another power play goal the first time shot he's hardly even looking at the goal and he's got a defenseman to lift it over and a netminder to beat that's an outstanding finish from Jordan Meyer Galbraith has touched it beyond Landry. Eric Galbraith onto the backhand and the save made by Modig. There is a penalty coming. And it's a slashing minor and the Stingrays are going back on the power play. We saw the great slap shot that Eric Galbraith possessed in the second period. And there we saw some of the skating speed. Panthers have gone offside. Mosey and I think that's uh, Turcotte over there, just having words. 
Stingrays don't need to get involved with any of that. Also for the whole Stingrays, not only they're missing Matty Davis, but John, sorry, Jordan Knox has not come back out for the third period. He's watching from the sponsors' lounge at the moment. Modig is halfway towards the bench. He is off for the extra attacker. Panthers are going six against five. Novato doesn't get the clearing attempt. Remember, the Stingrays aren't short-handed. So if they shoot for the empty net, they're liable for icing. But if they get it to Havato, he can just about walk it in. <laughs> It'll be a whole Stingrays win and a no-point weekend for the Nottingham Panthers. Confirmed by the empty netter from Zach Havato. So the risk doesn't pay off for the Nottingham Panthers. It's a risk the Stingrays have taken several times themselves this season. Nearly worked against the Flyers when they got one back. So this was their game in hand on the Brayhead clan. It'll mean the Panthers stay on 54 points, three points behind the clan, with just 12 games left for them in the season. Galbraith. Shoots from the narrow angle. The save is made. There are a few Panthers fans already heading for the exit. The Stingrays fans are going to stay and celebrate. The countdown has begun. The two points belong to the whole Stingrays. <laughs> The Stingrays fans haven't had many great nights at the Hull Arena this season. They've had one tonight. A terrific game of hockey, with plenty of action and plenty of goals. The Stingrays win the sec second period 2-1 and the third period 2-0 after a tied first session. And it's disappointment for the Panthers and their travelling support tonight.